Hey Fox Traders, Israel Kimmon here from VintageEducation.com and welcome to At Home with a Fox Trader. The new sort of documentary teaching um, format that I want to actually start doing to the Fox community, literally for free every, who knows, maybe it's going to be a weekly thing or um, maybe once a month or something, but this is going to be uh, a platform where you get to see more of me personally as a person, not just obviously as the Forex trader that you've obviously come to know. Now, it's actually going to be a bit different than what you might think because you might hear at home with a Forex trader and think I'm about to start offering some flashy gizmos or, sh or show some flashy objects that I've purchased or, or flashy cards or anything or something like that. It's not actually like that, okay? Um, I actually thought about this a few days ago and saying to myself, you know what? Um, I've had a thought on my mind for some time, for a few months, and it's really just me been me thinking about seeing just different forex traders out there teaching teaching people how to trade and just a constant thing that always rings in the back of my head as well these people are t talking about forex and how forex is this great opportunity and all of that kind of stuff but we always see these people dressed up in suits and ties and in offices and all this kind of stuff and when they just literally seem like they've traded a nine to five for a forex nine to five and that's not really what it's about well that's not really what it's about for me anyway personally um, i got into the forex markets because i wanted to be able to spend real time with my family real time with my friends i didn't want to be able to um, i didn't want to have to be able to have to report to someone at a specific location every single day or at least five six times a week i wanted to be able to work as they call it make money um wherever I am in the world and Forex was a great opportunity it really enticed me because it gave me the opportunity to do that it gave me the opportunity to make money good money every single month it gives me the opportunity to work wherever I want so I can do it from anywhere in the world it's flexible hours the Forex markets is a 24 hour market um, and there's just loads of benefits that I guess will cover um, as the weeks go by and as the episodes rack up so literally this is just me this is um there's no office here or anything like that this is just me in just one room where i live basically i'm um, just here sitting on a chair i've got my my ipad here whatever and you can even see okay look this some of my daughter's t um toys basically my daughter's teddy bear you can see just this is just me there's no office um and it's not about you might see me in a suit or tie or shirt or anything like that you might okay but um that will just basically be based on the fact that maybe that's what I'm wearing that day, okay? Um, there's really nothing artificial about what's actually going on here, except for the fact that I guess I'm wearing this mic, okay, to um, ensure that you've got the best quality for this video, and there's a little bit of lighting to make sure you can see me properly. But apart from that, this is all just me authentic here, sitting down. And I didn't really want to have too much. I don't want to have too much of, like I said, I want real straight authenticity. So I don't, I'm not really trying to go off a script or anything like that or have some sort of strict format. I just want to talk, okay? So you get to know more about me. You get to learn more about the Forex markets. And obviously, ultimately, all of the, the things I do in the Forex industry in regards to education are just to help you, okay? Because I've been in that position where you are um, skeptical, been scammed, trying to learn how to trade the forex markets. But I've also been in a position where I've actually made money trading the forex markets. So I feel that actually gives me a unique perspective because yes, there are loads of people in the industry um, that sell you something that I've never done themselves. Okay, I'll be the first to admit that. But there are people, and I don't claim to be the only person that's obviously traded the forex markets and actually been able to make it work for me. I don't claim to be the only one, okay, or anything like that. So, there are people out there that have, bit, that have all of this perspective that I've just talked about. And I believe as one of those people, I want to basically, I understand, okay, what it feels like to lose, what it feels like, to, excuse me, to be scammed and all these kind of things. I understand all of that stuff. So because of that, I feel it's my duty to give back to you and kind of give you the insights into what it's about. So like I said, there's no real flowing format into what I'm actually going to talk about. I just want to, I guess, just cover current events, maybe talk about stuff in my life and just kind of give you the perspective, okay? The fact that I can do these kind of things. Um, maybe you're watching this right now, maybe you're at work, maybe you have to work nine to five. Um, I don't currently have to do that and it hasn't been like that for um five six years okay so i'm really thankful in that regard that i don't have to do that but at the same time i'm not just wasting that time i want to give back as much as i can so what i want to talk about or what's really on my heart right now is just i want to talk about just awareness and honesty in forex okay because a lot of people don't understand um, a lot of people are here looking for different things um 
how to be successful in the forex markets, how do I make money? And there's one key thing, I guess I mentioned it already, but I want to talk about it today because it's really important in regards to success, and that's honesty. A lot of people don't want to be honest with themselves when it comes to the forex markets, and I want to do this, I want to basically teach this by giving you a personal story of my own trading career. Okay, so that was years ago, basically. I'm trading the forex markets. Basically, I've kind of turned the corner. I've started to get results. Things are going well. And I'm basically just sitting in front of the charts these days, and I'm just thinking about just life and just things are great right now. Obviously, I've started to make money trading the forex markets. And I just have this moment of clarity, this, this moment of just awareness and just wisdom. And I'm kind of like, I just ask myself this question kind of out of the blue and the question was this I basically said to myself hey Israel are the brokers not out to get you anymore now that you're making money and I, I thought about that and I, I smiled and I stopped for a second and said wow there's nothing different in regards to a forex broker that's changed I'm still using the same forex broker I was using um, when I was losing money now that I'm making money and at that moment, I realized, I'd already realized that Forex works already because I'd obviously made money. The first time I made, I took a trade, I actually won my first trade. And from that moment on, I knew Forex was real because I'd actually made some money, even if it was small, okay, it was about five pounds, okay, something along those lines. But this was the moment of full realization where I said, you know what, there's no excuses that can be made, okay. You can, nev you can never say to yourself, the broker is the reason why you're losing money. Um, and it's interesting because at that point, I just realized there's no point in making any more excuses. And that's a big problem that happens to Forex traders, okay? They make excuse after excuse after excuse. And the issue is when you make excuses as a person, okay, you always give yourself a way out, okay? Now, over the years, I've kind of built myself just as a, as a man, and I guess ultimately it was um, transferred into trading, okay? I'm a person, I don't like to make excuses, okay? I like to always just take the blame, take responsibility, because what that does for you as a person is it encourages you, it forces you to be better. So if you say to yourself, you know what, I'm not gonna make no excuses in regards to Forex. If I'm not making money, it's my fault. What that's gonna make you do is now start observing, it should make you start observing all of the different areas of the Forex trading the trades you're taking, the time you're trading, the currencies you're trading, the lot size you're trading, the risk, the reward, who you're trading with, the strategy you're trading, um, the broker you're using, all of these different things, it will make you reflect and revise and um, analyze all of these different things and ask yourself, okay, where is it, where is it in, this, in these different areas that I'm falling short? And at that moment, that's when you start to get better results because you cut out all the crap, you cut out all the excuses, and you just focus on results. So it's interesting, and I say all this to say, that was a big turning point in my life when I just cut all the excuses and said, you know what? Yeah, there's scammers in the industry. Um, yeah, there's loads of holy grail stuff and all of that kind of crap, and all of these different things that um, are shiny objects that can take my attention. But if I'm just focusing on, you know what? I'm gonna be the best Fox trader. I'm gonna make this work that's when things change. And it was that moment when I just realized after um, a good run and trading, I said to myself, you know what? It's all a myth. Me saying, and even thinking it, because I might not necessarily have always said, you know what, the brokers are out to get me, but I know at least a few times I'd thought it in my mind, believed it in my heart. And it's interesting that I'm actually talking about this now within the whole scandal right, that's going on right now with FXM. Well, it's not even really a scandal, really. It's, it's been... Um, determined that popular forex company FXCM, their forex broker, um, were basically doing some dodgy stuff. They're basically trading against um, their, their their traders, basically traders that open brokers account with them. They were trading against them and manipulating um, the trading, basically, and basically profiting from that. And um, it was interesting that they even went beyond that by they literally. Um, it's alleged that they were basically even trying to give false information to kind of get the people off the trail and they've obviously now subsequently in America been closed down and they can't obviously um, um, hold a brokerage firm apparently anymore and it's interesting because as this happened I'm sympathetical to the point that brokers are a big issue in the industry 
Now, I'm not saying this to say loads of brokers are out to get you anything like that, but um, it's sad that this has to happen. But at the same time, it's sad for the people that shouldn't have been with FXCM but went to FXCM because of the way the Forex markets works. I'll give you an example. In the industry, there's all of this copy, 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 copy stuff in a sense. All oh, because X, Y, and Z is doing it, I need to do it. Okay, that's not how you need to do it, in, especially in regards to brokers. Okay, it's, it's, it's even interesting because we've got a, a complete package div, solely devoted to finding the best Forex broker. And some people have never understood it, but at the same time, I've been a man of my word for the years I've been teaching because I've always stood by and said, you know what, I've never been affiliated to one single broker and said, you know, okay, you need to go to this broker. Why? Excuse me, because... As an honest, ethical teacher in the Forex industry, if I say to every single trader that comes under me, go to this Forex broker, I'm doing that, that trader a disservice because Forex brokers will offer you different things. Um, you need a specific broker for your specific Forex needs. So what works for me, being a trader in the UK, might not necessarily work for my students that are in America or might not work for my students which are in Australia. But it might work for some of my students which are with me in the UK, but it might not work for others of my students who are in the UK. So those are the kind of things you have to think about when it comes to teaching. And that's why it, it, it saddens me a little bit to a certain degree because certain people were with FXCM that shouldn't have been with FXCM. But the bigger arching thing in all of the stuff we're talking about today is just the whole honesty factor. There's going to be traders out there that are going to be blaming FXCM and saying, oh, it's because of FXCM, because they were doing this stuff that I was losing. And that's not actually the case. And it was funny because I was reading through one of the articles when it was basically giving us all the information about what's actually been happening and transpiring. And obviously the judgment um, that came down in FXCM and obviously the fine and all of this kind of stuff. And one of the comments said it was a, it was a, it was a trader, I guess, and he was basically saying, he basically said he still made money. And it was at that point where it just kind of rejigged in my mind and said, you know what, see, that's the difference. That's a Forex trader that doesn't make excuses, that isn't going to use this as the reason why he lost money, but is proven that they were doing this stuff, but he was still making money trading the Forex markets. Why? Because I was talking to someone about Forex a couple of days ago, and I was saying to them, you know what, if you're trading well, this, this would never really affect you. Because think about it from this standpoint, and I've talked about this loads and loads and loads over the years in regards to Forex, there's loads of manipulation in the market. But do I use that as an excuse to say I can't be, be successful because there's no manipulation, because there's loads of manipulation? manipulation? No, no, I don't. I learn, I say, okay, you know, how is it being manipulated? Where is it being manipulated? And I use that to my advantage in regards to trading, okay? So that's why I can have students come in and start trading the way I'm trading and they start getting results straight away. Because I don't want to say I've cracked the code to Forex or anything like that in this platform here, but I've learned one or two things about the Forex markets that now allows me to position myself, that allows my students to position themselves in the right place, to get into trades, to make money, um, have minimal risk and not fall prey to these kind of things that have happened. Um, for example, to FXCM clients and stuff like that. So it's really important if you really want to be successful at Forex, then it really applies to anything in life, okay? Because um, I'm not a guy that's bound to Forex and I'm just stringently stuck to Forex. I'm a guy first and foremost, okay, that lives my life a certain way. And I believe a lot of the principles and things I live by, um, just even as just being a believer in Jesus Christ and just um, being a believer in what, what's taught in the Bible, I believe I should live my life a certain way. And just loads of the things that I live my life in can easily transfer into Forex. Okay, so I try to live my life as an honest person. It's not always to say I always tell the truth, okay, because I'm not perfect in that regard. But at the same time, I try to be honest in regards to Forex, in regards to my teaching, in regards to my trading. So when it comes to trading, I'm going to be honest with myself. Did I make money this week? Did I lose money this week? Why did I lose money this week? Was it because I was taking bad trades? Was Did I overtrade? Did I risk too much? Etc. Why did I have a good week, trading week this week? All of the answers are in front of you, but it's whether you're going to be honest with yourself and say, you know what? This is why it actually happened. Okay? So I want to guess I'll wrap up today's first episode of At Home with a Forex Trader just on this note. Like, look, if you really want to be successful at Forex, learn to be honest. Learn to be honest with what you're doing in the Forex markets. And it really should start with just one question, okay? 
Am what I'm doing right now, is what I'm doing right now, making me money or losing me money? Okay. Once you make that shift in your trading to say, you know what, the only thing that matters in Forex is whether I make money or not, whether I make a profit, things will start to change up. And I guess what I'll do in the next episode, I'll talk about how this has actually been really important. Focusing in on, honing in on profitability. Okay, I'm going to give you a real prime example of um, a situation that happened um, just a couple of days ago, basically, and basically tell you, um, basically give the example of um, how this actually came to fruition. Okay, so all the best of your Forex trading. Um, thanks for joining me on today's Forex um, episode of At Home of a Forex Trader. You get to see me in my comfort zone, basically just kind of giving back even more. Um, to the forest community, kind of getting you um, more clued up and, and um, now going to give you more insights into the forex industry and just how things work and how you can actually be successful. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, obviously share this with your trader friends, share this with people entering into the forex industry because they need to know more stuff like this. They need to see more authenticity and more genuine genuity in the industry because um, there's loads of scammers out there, there's loads of stuff out there that's just um, hell-bent, set up just to steal your money and take your money. Um, I'm not here to say that we don't charge for education or anything like that, we do, okay? It makes sense to do that, um, both as an educational platform, but as a psychological um, trigger to help you actually follow through and actually take action. So, um, again, share this with your friends and obviously remember to be honest with yourself when it comes to trading the forex markets and actually being successful. Thanks and take care.